think we're about a mile from the border. Now, I don't know if they'll <laughs> let us in. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, they're frisking him right now. Welcome back to the channel, day eight. We are rolling this morning. What's in store, Galen? Well, we had breakfast here in Kamloops and we are actually on day seven of our tour through Canada. It's day eight, but we've spent the last seven days here in Canada. We're gonna leave Canada today. We're gonna work our way into Winthrop, Washington at the Sun River Lodge. Gonna be a great night. And then we have a short little run tomorrow into Seattle, but well, let's enjoy it, and hey, we will see you guys down the road. you're in there I saw this sign and I'm gonna bring you over here and we're gonna talk just a little bit about it because in all the travels we've done in the US what have they been around trains small towns mines rivers things like that so we're in Canada and let's just take a look at this so these are the routes through the Nicola Valley right and what does it say right here gold rush during the Fraser and Caribou Gold Rush. Wow. And then you think about it, they were doing horse pack and trains and stuff about here and Kamloops in 1898, 1875, I mean. Just kind of like our, our old West, you know, and they got their cool little like uh, cowboy hat, mounty hat type of hat. Well, they're ranchers branding their cattle, so. Wow. I thought it was kind of interesting. That's the first thing, first thing that struck me was like Gold Rush, trains, right. horse pack. I think we're kind of all about that kind of stuff because you always <laughs> learn new things and it's really cool. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right, let's get moving. made a little choice this morning on the the route selection we could have taken the 5a all the way down and got or the 5 and got all the way on the interstate but we chose the 5a and I've got to tell you we did about two miles of interstate we're now back on the 5a headed uh, towards our destination in Washington get our passports out we've seen nothing but beautiful lakes and enjoyable riding what do you think LZ well, it's just another day that's good for the soul, man. I love these two lanes. I love the back roads. I love the small communities you pass through. So for me, it's uh, on point, man. Looks like we have some clouds out there with some darkness to them. Maybe a little rain coming, who knows, but just beautiful through this country. I can't get over how it just reminds me of some of the back roads we've done in the U.S. in different spots of our country there as well. You know, whether it's South Dakota, the Rockies, whatever. Yeah, you know, it's 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 just that familiar feeling, a new place, uh, uh, some new vibes. You can't beat it. This is what we do, and this is why we do it, and this is why we're not going to stop. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure which border crossing we're going to be at, but we'll be down there in, a, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, and uh, we'll get those passports ready, and maybe they won't let us back in the country, and we're going to have to live in Canada. Well, I left my passport back at the hotel on purpose because I want to get arrested to spend some time in jail here and see what, see what that's like. <laughs> well, I'll let you do that yourself. Uh, I don't want to be in jail. I just want to enjoy riding like this. 
So, yep, let's work our way down into Washington. What do you think? Yeah, hey, enjoy the ride. Let's just keep rolling. <laughs> Princeton off the 5A. We we'll get some sandwiches, some soup, maybe some beverages. What's up, G-Man? Yeah, I can't wait. That was such a spectacular ride into this town, and uh, we can't wait to eat here. So the ladies, what did you get? A uh, turkey pot pie mm. and some ginger molasses cookies for dessert. Okay. Laura? Oh, I did the same. I had to go with the turkey pot pie. I can't wait to taste it. How's that coffee? Coffee is delish and it keeps me from yawning. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> sandwich. That sandwich is no joke. Oh, wow, no, what'd you get? get it's a ham and salami, but it's got horseradish, some good flavors, some good spice, some real good bread. What kind of soup? We say carrot ginger? Carrot ginger. Oh, that's it. And my guy here has been looking for apple pie forever. We got him one at the cabin. But you got kind of a berry apple pie, right? It's a berry apple pie. I got my turkey pot pie bread and the ginger soup. Uh, great ride in, great food, I think. We're gonna test it out. Why don't you dig into that uh, pot pie? Oh, that's me. really good. Let's see what's inside of that sucker. Turkey pot pie, a lot of good stuff. Nice. I did the same. I got a little turkey, salami, ham, boom. Let's eat. So we find these small towns in the U.S. and we're finding the small towns in Canada. We're here with Jerome. Jerome, introduce yourself. Hi there. My name is Jerome. Um, my wife and I, Thomasina, whose name is on the shop here, uh, have been here for 13 years. We came uh, originally from North Vancouver. Um, we started at the farmer's markets at the coast and uh, expanded to this beautiful business here. Um, we do artisan work, we do baked goods, we do breakfast and lunch, all kinds of coffees, uh, gelato in another few days or so when it warms <laughs> up. And uh, it's, it's the meeting place in this little town and we want to welcome everyone to come and enjoy themselves and get to know each other here. Thank you. Well, well I got to tell you, I had a, a pot pie, I had a tried a beef one and a turkey one, and then I had a, an apple berry pie. Excellent food, it did great, I loved it. All right. Josh and I had the uh, ham and salami panini, uh, or, or sandwich, which was incredible. We had some carrot ginger soup as well. Yeah, that was good was too, great, right? yeah. So, yeah. thanks for jumping in with us. Where are we located here? Uh, we're in the small town of Princeton, British Columbia, three hours east of uh, Vancouver on the downslope of the Cascade Mountains Excellent. and at the beginning of the Similkameen Valley which you probably just came through right yeah, yeah. well it's amazing you start from a farmers market to having the restaurant here and yeah. I got to tell you the food was great it was packed here you had dogs and all sorts of things so <laughs> it was cool That's right. thanks for joining us okay thanks for being a, a sport and, and jumping in here so yeah. with that see you see down the road and I'm wandering through a gentle down to my salvation I don't want to tell you that we're in a McDonald's parking lot, but we are. But we're not eating. We're not eating. We're just using a restroom break. And this town is called Oisolo. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, bathroom break. We're about a mile from the border. Get those passports out. Let's try to get into our country. How do you feel about the border crossing, LC? Do you uh -huh. feel confident? Uh, I don't feel confident about crossing into the United States right now. I don't know if they'll <laughs> let us in because I we've done some bad things. No. You know, I pride myself on keeping my helmet nice and it just fell off the bike and now I got nicks on my cardo and my helmet. So wow. I guess it's safe. And we will see you 
down, down the, the road. road. Nope. Down the border. We will see you on the border. We'll see you on the other side. Well, we made it through the border, right? We did. We're back on USA soil. USA soil. Back in the USA. Love Canada. I said, I don't think they're going to let Josh in the USA. They shouldn't. He's a Canuck. I know it. He's a young troublemaker. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, okay, they're frisking him right now. Strip search. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> America, America. It's good to be back. Um, we thought they were strip searching you. <sighs> to be honest with you, we thought they were not going to let you in. Well, he was asking me questions with a certain tone that I wasn't very appreciative. No, he was actually really nice. It's good. All right. Good. Well, we all made it, right? We yes, made sir. it. We are here. Ladies. We made it. But we've had a great time in Canada. Yes. Fell in love Some... with its beauty and the people. For sure. Great people. Well, here we are headed into the Sun Mountain Lodge up in uh, Winthrop, Washington. What a beautiful day it's been. We are rolling way up on this mountaintop up here. It's going to be beautiful. I'm thrilled that this was an Eagle Rider destination. They come here a lot as well as part of this ride that they do. So I'm excited to see the lodge. The pictures were great. I think they looked a little better than the dormitory we walked into last night, so I'm hoping the girls are okay with what we've got going here. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to love it, and I hope that they uh, are open for eating up here. And you said they had a bar and a restaurant, and that sounds great. Well, it's Friday night, so I can't imagine they're not open. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, we're crawling up here. It's 2,753 feet above sea level running at 77 degrees nice and cool and it looks like we're approaching here we are wow i'm excited for this one well, let's get in there get checked in and have a great night tonight sounds awesome let's do this there it is sun mountain lodge Sun Mountain Lodge, enjoying a great night with some great food. Um, Winthrop, Washington. So we made our way all through Canada, seven days of that. We're here tonight, headed home tomorrow, Seattle, but man, we got some great food. Ribeye, short rib, halibut, potato, fingerling. <laughs> We've got a couple of ribeyes. Well, I can say this, on the open road, we go travel, we have fun, we see great things, we meet great people, and we always have a great time at the end of the day with each other, sharing our experience here, and we're sharing it with you. And thank you, Galen, for figuring out this yes. prime spot. Absolutely, thank you. Well, thanks for Eagle Rider, but hey, look, we owe ourselves a great dinner tonight because yes. we've ridden 2,200 miles so far. Cheers. We're going to enjoy it and we'll see you after the close. Yes. Teresa and Laura have Cheers to us right. riding all those miles okay. and not complaining yeah. once. Wait, you know what? Josh, tell us how you feel about today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a solid day riding, dude. Um, 
crossing the border was weird because the scenery didn't change. But there was a noticeable difference, something in the air, you know, but it was a good day. I had one of the best stakes of my life. We had some good riding. Um, I missed my bike a little bit, but still having a good time on that road glide. And uh, I think I'm gonna smoke a cigar and enjoy the view. Day eight has come to a close. What a great day. I mean, you've been wanting to go to Canada for how long? Uh, all my life. Real, all your, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you kind of imagine what's north of the U.S. Right. And, and then to come up here and experience what Canada is about, made it back over the border. Great food, great company, great times, great rides. I mean, you can't imagine. Well, we learned a lot. I know I was more hesitant to come, but I'm really glad I did because we saw some really spectacular scenery. The glaciers were awesome. Like you say, the company we had, our wives were with us, Josh. We had a wonderful time. This is a great experience and we will be back. Yeah, and we have to thank Eagle Rider too because yeah. they gave us a couple points of interest to stop yeah. by and yeah. this is one of them. Right. What a great time and tomorrow we have like 190 miles to go to Seattle, turn the bikes in, fly home, and the adventure's over. Right, but we're not ready done for yet. another one, just ready That's for fine. another one. Right, we're gonna show you guys Winthrop tomorrow, right? Yeah, I think we'll go down to the town and check that out. So yeah, we're having fun. We're sitting on top of a mount right now. We had a good dinner, <laughs> getting ready to have some chat after this and talk about what what's ahead of us, but Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I have to say one thing. We have 180 something miles to go tomorrow, but we've been on, uh, what, five, four, almost 500 miles this trip per day. And it's like, wow, we did a lot of miles and a, it was a great time. Yeah, the Definitely scenery the made it just fly by. A few more steps. Now. Well, it was beautiful. And tomorrow when we get to Eagle Rider, we'll tell you how long the trip was in miles and kilometers. And kilometers, and yeah. kilometers how right. About that? We've we seen, we learned. We drive by the kilometers going, oh gosh, wait, is it really 300 and something kilometers? But really it was only two maybe something, but that was kind of fun to figure out what that was too. So hey, with that, let's go. Down, down the road. road.